Everybody, it's Debbie. Yep, I'm outside again. You're at your home, your happy place. And thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing some planting and hopefully um, this will look a little bit more organized than the last time you saw it. I just emptied it all off and I don't know if this is even around anymore. I couldn't figure out how to use it the first time. It's infused. Um, so if you see, there's a little cartridge at the top and I got it at Target several years ago and my mop didn't work and I never went any further with it. I was so frustrated with the mop <laughs> that I just couldn't do it. The other day I found the spray bottles and I thought, you know, these are nice spray bottles so I'm just going to keep them. Well, I still had a cartridge left and it's lavender lemon and so I just figured out how to plug it in and oh my gosh, I really, really like it. Now, could you get the same effect by just putting a couple of essential oils in? Probably. I don't really know if there's anything in here besides the essential oils. I really haven't looked, but anyway, um, I'm using it for just some of my surface cleaning and I'm really enjoying it. I used it in my entire bathroom yesterday and it smelled great. It's not overpowering at all. And um, I don't know, I'm kind of liking the idea. So I'm gonna, I just sprayed it down my little guy and I'm gonna wipe that off. So thank you for all your ideas on naming the porch. Um, the one that was most popular was the potting porch, which just makes sense to me. Now, one of the most exotic or extravagant ones was, um, oh, now I'm not going to remember what she called it. It was like the potting veranda, but maybe it was a better word than potting. Garden veranda, maybe. That was very, very Southern. So I like that, but um, it does, it just rolls off of my mind here, potting porch. So, and then the ideas you gave me for this, um, you know, I like the idea of keeping it very functional. Um, so as I came out here to start cleaning, um, this is a perfect spot to store that for sure. And then some of the pots and my gloves and we'll see. So I still haven't, I haven't bought anything. I hope I can just kind of make this happen. Um, and I'll show you one thing that I did do. This is, so this may be temporary. I do like my garden basket right here. I love it there. I like it. it kind of hides the trash back there. Um, and this was just really stunning right now. Um, I'm not sure I'll get enough sun back here. I'm going to kind of watch it today as I'm planting and see, but I think these need eight hours of sun. So I may have to look for something that blooms that's a little more shady, but I definitely want a bloomer and I like the size of this. It's perfect. So um, that's kind of going to be super easy. In my drawers down here is where I'm going to store um, like the apron I got on. Um, I'm not sure what else at the moment. Well, my tools. And I, oops. I turned this around. The drawers work the same on both sides. So I turned this around so I had a hook or a, a, a so I had a bar here that I could loop my hat onto, or if the some of the tools have strings on them, or mine don't, but they have a place to put a string on them. Some of them do, you know, you could loop that there or put hooks on here. So I'm gonna do that. And
okay, um, sorry my dryer is going and I want my Dutch door open, so, um, and I'm outside, I hear traffic, but this is where we're at right now. Um, one of my viewers told me to put some of my herbs in small terracotta pots in here, and I'm getting ready to plant my herbs, but these are my vegetables. So I have a tomato and a couple of peppers here. And when I'm done gardening, I will put my gloves back in and we'll just see. It's, this is going to evolve. It's going to take me a bit. Um, and then I put the copper pot there, watering pot. I did put out the, I talked about this in my um, laundry room, uh, one of them. I, don't, I do, did two laundry room videos, but this is um, I, it's such a great bottle that that came in that I really, I'll never get rid of that. It's glass bottle and that's a beautiful um, metal top on it. Um, you, I got it at TJ Maxx, but I'm going to put a bowl out here, probably stick it either underneath or in, in here so that, and I'll keep a towel for sure hanging out here because um, I don't have it. Yeah, I can go in to use the sink, but that's a big, you know, ordeal to go in. I'd like to just have something out here where I could just rinse myself off now and then and clean my hands. So um, I am going to do that. Okay, now I'm going to plant here. So I'm going to clean the leaves out and I'm going to see if my husband's got some preen to put down. I'm going to rake a lot of the mulch away and I'm going to just put in the two lavenders and the lamb's ear. Now, I'm not sure if I'll add any more color to it later or not. I love the scent of lavender. I've never done this kind of lavender before, um, so I'm very excited to try it. These are from uh, Lowe's. I picked up. daughter's car I should I can see my daughter's house from here she's getting ready to go to work and um, her husband's at a golf tournament today so we're gonna have the kids for about four hours and we're we were just walking around trying to decide what what kind of plants we wanted to get and we've decided we're gonna take two cars because we'll have four people so we need room for plants but we were downstairs and was talking about some pots that I inherited from my mother and my husband's like there's a snake <laughs> I'm really proud of myself I didn't scream I mean I don't like snakes at all but it was a black snake or a rat snake so I know it's not gonna hurt me I guess it could still bite me it, boy it coiled a few times because we were trying to get it to move and it just didn't want to move um, it was right at like at the patio door and I really don't want it to get to where it feels like it's at home there because there's two patio doors one's right off of a bedroom if somebody would have um, one of our guests would open up their sliding glass door and step on a snake yeah they're not coming back so I have oh here here's one of them 
I've told you about these before. These are lavender scented mothballs and snakes don't like lavender. And if you buy snake away, it's pretty much, it's mothballs. So kids are here, I'll be right back. Um, the snakes here. here are scaring me now, you guys. This is the second Watch one in 10 too. minutes. He's huge, just like the last one. You better get Dad over here. Well, I don't know where he's at. Yeah, I don't want you guys on my porch. Don't get any closer. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we've started washing off the patio down here, and I think my husband just washed. Did you wash these uh, cushions too? We we did. We cleaned everything. Did you wash the cushions? They were inside. Oh, okay, good. All right. <clears throat> we got this set uh, last year and really never had an opportunity to use it because I can't remember what month they poured this patio, but it was cold. So he is going to wash all these off. Those pillows. Those pillows, first of all, need to be washed off. They go to that. I don't think he realizes that. <laughs> wasn't in love with the color of the cushions but it was a really inexpensive set it all came as one and I like it because you know you push these together and it's basically a chaise well most people aren't going to sit on it that way but they might or you separate it and you've got you know more seating if you need it okay the wind's picking up but I'm trying to hide the microphone we picked up some creeping jenny it's a fast growing ground cover so we're going to pop this on the hill we have a pretty rocky hill off of the lower part of our pool area and then we picked up some really pretty violet uh, hydrangeas and those are going to go around the front porch and then i picked up another um a small ground cover, which I can't recall the name, dead net nettle. So my husband found a much smaller hose. So our plan now is we do the hose underneath there. Don't need a bucket there at all, unless we want to plant there, which we, we don't. And then we'll keep the longer ones just inside the garage for when we need to wash cars. Okay. And he is, we've just already walked around. He's getting, <clears throat> oh my gosh, they're the prettiest hydrangeas I've ever seen. Love that color. So we've placed uh, the flocks. We didn't buy enough, but we'll get more. I like the flocks right by the rocks. They like that spot. So we're going to put some here as well. And at some point I might put flocks down this path. I haven't decided. Ooh, I see the, the weather change over there. That direction, you can see it. Oh, that is so pretty. So we're just spacing. We got six of them. So we're putting two in front of each of these panels and then one on the single panels. That looks really pretty. I love that. going to start some of the ground cover out here. We are going to have flowers intermixed, so we'll have to see, you know, how this does. I'm somebody who likes to see mulch, <laughs> so I really don't want to cover everything, but there's certain places that I don't mind. And around there, nothing... I don't know. I just feel like I need something. Okay. Beautiful. 
gorgeous. I picked up some I picked up some columbine. Um, these are the prettiest pink. I love this. And then I'm not sure what are those plants you got and in there. What are they? Um the like vegetable garden. Okay. And then these were very reasonable priced. They were about seven dollars more at Home Depot for about the same size. Maybe maybe it was slightly bigger, but they weren't any fuller. So and um, these are part sun. So I think we're gonna put them on our porch, or else the back deck. We haven't decided. And here's what I finished. Um, Got some columbine planted. I didn't quite get these in. I'm gonna try before the rain really pours here, but it's starting. I can hear it right now. Boom, 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 and it may hail. Um, but I got my herbs. So we got lemon thyme, sage, flat Italian parsley, basil, and uh, cilantro. And then we're gonna put a blueberry bush down there. And then this is uh, for the vegetable garden. It's uh, cucumber, watermelon, and then that's it. Baby, are you gonna stay out there? It's raining, honey. Are you coming in? It's raining, hon. You don't like the water. Okay. They say it might hail. It's Oh. Hey everybody, I had to end the video a little different than I planned. There was quite the storm, hail, winds, rain. It was pretty ferocious and we ended up not getting to go back out. And now here I am in St. Louis. So um, my little granddaughter's in the background. Uh, her mommy and daddy are on their way to the hospital because the baby's coming today. So we will hopefully see him um, tonight or tomorrow and I just thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and I won't be back in, in uh, at our house for a week so um, I can't really even show you. I hope everything survives with us not being there but um, if you enjoyed the video would you please give it a like and I love to hear your comments. Please um, consider subscribing if you are new and welcome. Don't forget to hit the um, all button for notifications. And if you're looking for any kind of shopping ideas or things that might be, oh, that's that's the vacuum cleaner popping behind me, the toy one. Um, if you're looking for any shopping ideas, don't forget to check out my Amazon storefront. Um, you can check the link below or you can just remember amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash your home, your happy place. And I will see you next time. Bye.